I'm Alexa Schwerha with Campus Reform, and you're watching Five Big Questions. Today, I am so excited to speak with Augustus LaRue. He is the chairman of the New York Federation of College Republicans, and he joins me now to discuss the latest of what his organization is doing to combat liberal bias and abuse in New York's college campuses. The Federation recently released a statement that reaffirmed its commitment to backing conservative students who face the harassment and discrimination because of their political views. Augustus, thank you so much for coming on today and talking about this. Yeah, of course, happy to. To start us off, in your time as chairman, what has shocked you the most about liberal bias and abuse on New York's college campuses? Um, I think how totally indifferent college administrators are, how completely uncaring, you know, oftentimes faculty and staff can be towards some of these uh, instances. The most recent one that was cited in the article uh, occurred at the University of Buffalo. Students chased across campus. One of them was assaulted by students. Um, I think the thing that's kind of disturbed me the most watching this unfold over the past couple of years is, you know, there really is not a lot of recourse for, you know, these conservative students on campuses that this happens to. And can we talk more about the work that the Federation has done to stand behind conservative students, but more so the work that it's going to do as students return to campus this fall? So historically, the New York Federation, you know, as well as any other college Republican organization in the country. We do a lot of work for candidates volunteering, you know, door knocking, lift drops, that sort of thing to get conservative candidates elected and put into office. Um, it's recently been a focus of ours to kind of transition towards a more activist uh, focused mission. So, you know, it's, it's our view that these students on these campuses really have not had much a line of defense. Um, you know, there are certainly organizations besides us that will advocate for students. Yeah, from Turning Point, namely. But even with that being the case, you know, you still have incidents like what happened at Buffalo or Syracuse or Fordham that while we maintain a network on uh, over 20 campuses in New York State, it's our goal to try and, and you know, coordinate and organize all of our members and try to put together something a little more substantive to, to have our students' backs in the form of protest or advocacy, et cetera. And here at the Leadership Institute's Campus Reform, we report on countless incidents of leftist bias and abuse that conservatives are subjected to on campus. Conservative speakers are consistently shouted down by liberal mobs. Like you said, conservative student leaders can be chased across campus because they dare to bring conservative values to campus to simply start a discussion. And like you said in the Federation's letter, university administrators turn a blind eye. So what should university administrators do to ensure that conservative students feel safe and that they can express their values on campus? Uh, they should do their jobs. Look, if in any other instance a student was assaulted on campus, you would have a response from the Department of Public Safety, from the administration. You would have some kind of action there to hold those students accountable. We don't see that. Um, to give an, an example at, at Syracuse University, uh, we had a student who was, was, you know, widely received death threats from other students on that campus. Family was threatened. For months, this went on. A letter was sent to administration. It was published. There was no response from, from the administration. Um, that same administration later went on record and defended the words of one of its professors that made, it made a statement sympathetic to uh, Al-Qaeda this past fall. Um, you know, if the question is what, what, you know, should administration be doing, they need to be doing the bare minimum, which is, is, you know, ensuring student safety. And to go off of that, what do you think that this says about the state of intellectual diversity on America's college campuses? Um, I don't think there is intellectual diversity on college campuses. I don't think that's been true for a while. I think that, you know, anybody who's kind of holding on to this idea that there is a marketplace of ideas or that there is, you know, free speech on campuses really hasn't been paying attention to what's been happening. I mean, in terms of enrollment, conservative students are outnumbered 10 to 1 on campuses. Donations from professors are overwhelmingly Democrat shows their, their ideological bend right there. Uh, you know, professors have been forced out of campuses. They've been, been shunned and, and, and threatened. Um, that I, I don't think that, you know, this idea that, that college is a place for open discourse has really been true for a while. And my final question for you, what message do you want to send to conservatives in the state of New York who are going to be returning to campus this fall and want to be firm in their convictions and speak out about their conservative values? Um, seek out other conservatives. 
you know, if you have some kind of an organization on campus, join it, make friends, connect, network. You know, I think the number one obstacle to conservatism, the conservative voice on campus, you know, you will often hear about, you know, insane professors and the things they teach in their classes. And that's all true. It's all true that, you know, the faculty really doesn't care what happens to conservative students or anything like that. All of that is true. Um, the biggest obstacle I see is how overwhelming, overwhelmingly left wing the student body often is. And that, you know, pressures students to either hide their own views or espouse views that they don't necessarily believe. Um, I see it all the time in Greek life. You know, people will, will first and foremost want to enjoy their college years and they'll join a Greek life organization and kind of hide their own views just so they can make their way in their own social circles. It's tough because no college student wants to, you know, wear that scarlet letter of being the conservative kid. So listen, what I would say is if you are entering a college and you're, you know, you're worried about some of the stories you've been reading, find your people, find your, your fellow conservatives on campus. So whatever happens, you've got people that have your back. I think that's the most important thing right now. Augustus, thank you so much for your time and best of luck this semester.